Hey guys, welcome to yet another video based on data mining. So today in this video, we will be seeing uh, what is data processing in data mining and of its different forms. So we have seen this in the KDD process or activity, uh, which was the very first video of data mining. So the four steps of data processing are just described in this. So let's see what all are the data processing forms and what is data processing itself. So first of all, what is uh, pre-processing or why pre-processing is needed? Now, first of all, understand uh, when we uh, go to get some data. So data in its original form will always be uh, contaminated with different kinds of impurities or inconsistencies. So it's our job that before we input into the other system, we have to uh, first purify it in a proper format. So data will always be contaminated by these three things. So these things are the basic or the uh, major uh, threads of data. So first is the incompleteness, uh, which has lacking of attributes, which has some kind of attributes, some may be there, some may not be there. Other is noise, uh, which deviates us from getting the actual result. And then there is inconsistencies, uh, which is the some kind of discrepancies which are there in the code. Now let us understand this with the help of an example. Now for example, uh, a form is given, Excel form is given. Now it is given to a uh, candidates of a students or college. So like uh, the instructor might have given them to uh, fill their details like first name, last name, their sex, uh, then their mobile number, address and email number. So uh, email address. So like uh, these columns or these tabs are different attributes. So uh, they may be generated with the help of different macros or other formulas. Now the instructor might have given them uh, the instruction that you do not need to hamper those uh, macros. But uh, there may be some students or at maybe some times uh, it may be possible that these attributes or the columns might get vanished due to some here or uh, other kind of uh, mishandling or something like that. So that is where the lacking of attributes is there. So we have incompleteness. We can say that that particular data for that student is incomplete. So what he will find himself that he has got only uh, four columns instead uh, there are seven different columns for that particular uh, data then comes the noise which deviates from the actual result now a particular column like say mobile number is given with the uh, country code for example plus nine one and followed by his mobile number now mobile number uh, is of 10 digits he may input it of 11 digits or 12 digits so uh, that may cause kind of inconsistency. So finally, when the instructor or when the agency get those kind of data from these students, uh, some kind of uh, like kind of inconsistencies or irregularities might be observed in this kind of data. So that is one major drawback or threat of uh, having the data from its uh, original format. Next is inconsistencies or discrepancies in the code. Now this is like Excel file which is there in the original format might be made of in the uh, Excel 2007 format. Now in some systems it may not be compatible with uh, like other formulas or macro not getting being displayed or it's not getting been implemented. So those kinds of uh, problems are categorized into inconsistencies which cause discrepancies in the code or which may not be able to process in that format. So these are the kind of pre-processing issues which are there. So all the data which are there are being affected by these three kinds of major issues. Now to solve this, there are kinds of four different steps or four different forms. So the very first form we will be talking about is of data cleaning. Now this we have discussed in the KDD activity, which was the very first uh, step or method towards the uh, final knowledge extraction. So in this, like you can see here in this diagram, we have our old data and we are just scrubbing it with a dishwasher and we are getting a purified data. So it's like you have your utensils at your home and then you will be cleaning it to uh, regenerate or to use it further. So for that, you will be cleaning or scrubbing it with some uh, dishwasher. So like that, you have to clean with some kind of uh, pre-processing activities or techniques so that you get the data in the original format. Now, how you can clean the data? You can 
clean the data by filling the missing values or by smoothing the noisy data you can just cut it out in a particular format so that the noise is just eliminated or outlays is just eliminated identifying or removing the outlayers and resolving the inconsistencies which we have seen in this like uh, you have to maintain only particular format uh, the higher versions or the lower versions which is uh, suitable for them next we have the data integration so data integration is nothing but integrating data from different different sources uh, while we go to search for uh, some kind of particular data like blockchain i have discussed in that uh, we get different kinds of web pages we get different kinds of pdfs excel files then word formats and videos and all so uh, what we do is we just uh, get this data download this data we segregate into different forms and we put it into one particular repository or one particular file so that is like you have transactional databases you may have a OLAP cube or some aggregation cubes or you may have a flat file in fact and then you will just aggregate it by some uh, kind of integration methods and then you will produce one ultimate kind of database or one ultimate kind of file so like uh, it has all of this attributes and all of its properties are being incorporated into this kind of uh, ultimate database or ultimate file uh, next we go to data transformation so data transformation is nothing but transforming the data into different similar formats or easy representational formats so that is nothing but if we have this kind of data like uh, you have minus 0 0.02 or 0 0.32 1.00 0 0.59 0 0.48 so this is like it becomes a kind of difficulty while for calculation as well so while we do in math also uh, we convert into appropriate formats and then we used for our solving so that is the same case with uh, handling handling kind of uh, noisy data so in pre-processing also what you do is uh, 0 0.02 what you do is you just uh, multiply or divide it by 100 like this forms are represented in numerator de denominator format so can you can easily use it into your data and you can uh, produce the or you can obtain the proper results next comes the data reduction which is the final step in pre-processing so in data reduction is nothing but you have multiple kinds of uh, files what do you do you have a 7 zip or you have a extractor win zip extractor so what you do is you just put it in uh, to that extractor and you just zip that file so uh, what it does is it reduces the size from the original megabytes to some megabytes or uh, in just kilobytes so it's uh, usually in uh, lesser than the megabytes of the original file so this is what data reduction means so in uh, data mining you have different kinds of data reduction steps so those are first you have the aggregation so aggregation is nothing but you build a data cube from all of the data which you have from a previous results next is you have attribute subset selection like uh, you select some particular attribute from one big particular superset from, from that particular superset you create a subset of different attributes and like uh, you remove the irrelevant attribute by using correlation analysis or by using your uh, prediction or some kind of techniques then you have dimensionality reduction dimensionality reduction is by like having a OLAP cube of three dimension you reduce it to a two dimensional framework something like that so uh, different kind of encoding schemes are used in this so uh, a very popular method is the wavelength where you calculate the uh, minimum value or the minimum distance from one particular point and you try to reduce it to the other previous uh, inputs which is getting uh, next you have a numerosity reduction numerosity reduction is nothing but replacing it by some parametric models or by using some clusters so that you can easily access those and can input to your systems respective systems uh, next one common or the most important kind of data reduction technique is data discretization so data discretization is nothing but automatic generation of concept hierarchies from the numerical data like suppose you have a particular numerical data given what you do you drag and you apply some kind of macros or formulas into your excel sheets or some other format so that you can generate those concept hierarchies as it is in a particular format or in a tree or in a like rule you can uh, aggregate it and you can summarize it as well so that is kind of a very good or very uh, better way of reducing the data so that's what is data discretization is all about so well that's all about the data pre-processing and its different formats of data pre-processing and so if you uh, enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video